내가 And these are two high-flying teams, Grant. Loads of athleticism on the floor. What's it like to play in a game like this? Oh, B.A., it is the best. It's so much fun. I mean, of course, here we're expecting lots of fast breaks, dunks, just in general, a lot of action. And, of course, the fans love these type of games. I can't wait. The starters for the Memphis Grizzlies. Brooks and Jackson, the defensive forward pair. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. And it's Adams in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. They retain possession. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. We got to see that one again. That block was all-out effort. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Junior against Moran. Pass to Williams. Back to Junior. Lays it up and in on a nice reverse. The first of many tonight. Both teams have legit offensive talent. And if everything goes to plan, this could be a very fun matchup to watch. Now here's Brooks. Levine with a steal. And up the court come the Bulls on the break. Here's Junior. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First personal foul. Well, Richard, it's hard to believe it's been over 20 years since the Grizzlies came to Memphis. Brian, it has been crazy. And look, they have been a playoff team more often than not in that time. But this could be the best era yet for the Grizzly organization. They've got a great core of young players and are strong on both ends of the floor. Now here's Moran. Six to shoot. High arcing shot. Here's Adams. Nice work on the boards, paying off with a basket. And on the offensive end, this is how Adams hurts you. You have to be aware of where he is at all times. First quarter, just over a minute and a half in. Junior. Williams misses. For Memphis, they've gone one for three so far. Over to the left wing. And Morant gets it to go on the assist by Brooks. Working through the lane, Morant, he's got such a great change of speed to keep the defense off. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, and in close games like this one, B.A., you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Brooks outside. Back to Morant. Let's it go from deep. Not going to go that time. For Chicago, they've gone two of three from the floor. Junior with it. Jackson in his pocket. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Brooks. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. The free throw drops for Brooks. And about Brooks, becoming a staple in the middle of this lineup, Richard. Plays the two and three positions on the floor and scores it really well. But most importantly, he's out there for his defensive effort and intensity. He is a versatile player that any team would love to have. Now here's Bain. Last game out, he had 40. That gives them the lead. Jaren Jackson Just Jr. muscling it home from there. Jackson is no stranger to having to work over strong defense. Moran against Junior. Outside Levine. Back to Junior. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Free throw good. Junior. Jones, he's checked in for Memphis. Good on both. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. 
Moran against Junior. Wasted no time with that shot, but it's off the mark. To the inside. And the dunk by Levine. Such a fluid play. Levine is in the air right on cue to put a smooth finish on that alley-oop. Junior against Moran. Jones, his shot is good. And they may have talked Assist about Brown. shot selection coming into this. Chicago leading. Here's Junior. Really played well against Charlotte in his last game. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Junior's got 10 points. They've really come out swinging, hitting four of their first five shots. Brooks outside. Pass to Jackson. Outside Jones. Back to Jackson. And here's Brooks. Just five to shoot. A little mid-range shot is up. That one's wide left. Looked like he just rushed it there. Just maybe take a little bit more time in the future. Baseline try. That shot is off. Ooh, excellent D there from Jackson. Brooks against Levine. Now here's Brooks. Guarded closely. And no good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Down low. And Junior with the basket. On the assist by Levine. 12 points for him. This man is on fire. His team is winning, and it doesn't get better than that. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Now Brooks coming in off 12 points in his last outing. Jones from outside. Perfect night so far. Two for two. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Moran against Junior. Oh, there's the alley. And Vucevic slams it in. Rolling with purpose off the pick. Vuce, impressive basketball IQ, is really featured in screen and rolls. Moran finds Brooks. Adams up top. Jones up top. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on Zach Levine. Since entering the league in 2015, Ty Jones has proven to be as reliable as it gets. A multi-talented guard who plays to his strengths. Jones hits them both. And what you appreciate about Jones is how under control he is, Richard. He's never in a rush. It's what allows the game to come so naturally to him. He's skilled at keeping things very simple. Solid at setting the pace for himself and his squad. Now here's Levine making a mark on the offensive end. Scoring around 13 a game. Memphis Out of bounds. Ball. It'll be Memphis's ball. Memphis trailing here. Here's Brooks. He's been an offensive weapon for them, scoring around 17 and a half points a game. Here's Adams. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. One of the strongest players in the league. Adams using his size well on the glass. Drummond's checked in for Chicago. Well, it's the time of the season when voters are weighing their options for the yearly awards. RJ, you think there should be more positional flexibility for the All-NBA and All-Defensive teams? 1,000%. And I still don't have a vote, so my opinion doesn't matter. But seriously, the answer is yes. If you're talking about players' contracts, because it can affect the player's contract, they should have the ability to be the best players on the best team, and that's what the All-NBA first team should be. Got to get you a vote, man. No, I'm good. The three is up. Drummond grabs the miss. Okay, let's just say it. This has been an ugly quarter for him. Not quite a break of mirror ugly, but it's getting there. No, yep, no. that one's good. Number Junior's got 14. Only one miss in his first six shots. He's definitely brought his A game. The Grizzlies have gone 7 of 16 so far. Outside Morant. Pass to Brooks. Ooh, and Adam strong finish. Yeah, what physicality from Adams down low. Rushing off the contact and getting the easy bucket. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And the Bulls making a change here. Ball's checked in. 
And Memphis also making a switch. Williams is checked in. Outside Jones. With the drive. Oh, rejected by Drummond. And they get it back. Jackson outside. From deep, Moran. And it's Chicago with the board. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. Oh, a fantastic defender. Adams embraces his role on this team as their defensive anchor. Now here's Jones. He's got seven. No good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Junior with it. He's picked up by Jones. A nice shot by Junior. It's almost like he had a bird's eye view of the court. DeRozan always knows where his teammates are. Outside Jones. Pass to Williams. DeRozan against Jackson. Fader on the way. And that one's long for Chicago. They've got 8 out of 12 shots to fall. Inside. And Junior gets it to go on the assist by Levine. Levine's got three assists now in this one. Memphis has gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. Pass to Moran. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's going to be on Lonzo Ball. He's so good at staying in attack mode. When Moran is going at defenses, he forces them to foul him. Some changes for Chicago. Green's checked in for Levine. And it's Desunmu in. Memphis leading. So on the floor for Memphis to kick off the second quarter. Bain and Brooks out on the wing. Xavier Tillman is out there with Nicholas Batum. And it's Jones in at the point guard position. The three from Bain. On target from range. Bain's gotten himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. Junior with it. He lobs it up, and Williams punches it home. Williams. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Pass to Tillman. Now here's Bain. Lots of room. Count that one. Desmond Bain. Bain's got five. I know what they say. Defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters, too, now. Junior. Yes, sir, and it's Ball with the assist that time. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Going all in, that was the 2K drive. Well worth a second look. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Pass to Brooks. Here's Tillman. Outside Jones. Clock is at three. There's the three. Good D by Ball. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Well, Grant, every team is looking for that perfect five on the floor, that magical lineup. In your mind, is that synonymous with small ball? I think it is, B.A. I mean, having players that can play small, can switch on defense, obviously play multiple positions on the offensive end, it's just a combination when executed properly could be a nightmare for the opponent. Well, Junior, in the last matchup against the Hornets, he ended up with 59 points, and his passing was the story of that one, creating for others. A Hall of Fame level performance the whole league is talking about now. It was a masterpiece, guys. Thanks, Allie. Absolutely. He was a one-man show in that one, Grant. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. Let's see if he comes in with that same mentality tonight. 
And I'll be interested to see if the opposition looks to double him because this should open up opportunities for his teammates to get going. Back to Jones. Over Junior. And another miss by Memphis. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. Outside Bain. Pass to Brooks. Outside Jones. And the layup is good off the glass. Jones has got 12 points. He's good enough where it takes a lot to bother him at the rim like that. Junior up top, defended by Jones. Junior, and he gets that one. Junior's got eight points in the quarter. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Brooks outside. Jones, the pass to Batum. And Williams over to help. Knocked loose. Vucevic with it. He's picked up by Bain. Here's Junior. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Tyus Jones. Second. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Chicago. Number zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. And the Bulls making a change here. Caruso is checked in. Outside Bain. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. The tomb outside from the wing. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got six rebounds in the game. Here's Levine. Offensive board. Williams passes to Vucevic. Man, it's hard not to foul Vucevic inside. He uses all of his size to go after his shots. 13 fouls. He misses the free throw. Nikola Vucevic. At the line for two. Second free throw, no good. Memphis has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Here's Bain. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Junior's got four rebounds now. Got a piece of it. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It was a strong move. The shot's just a little off. No good on the free throw. At the line for Chicago. And he misses the second one as well. So 0 for 2 that time. Normally he sinks all of his free throws. The defense got lucky there. Second team foul. Memphis has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Back to Jones. Rebound by the Bulls. Junior's got his fifth rebound in this one. Levine passes to Junior. Basket's good. Junior's got 12 now in this quarter. Showing off those playmaking skills. Levine keeps his head up, makes the easy play. Brooks with it. He's picked up by Levine. Outside Bain. Let's go with a three. And it's Chicago with a the board. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Grizzlies. That one was in Memphis. I really didn't see much of an edge from them. A little more intensity could have gone a long way. Yeah, you hate to be critical, but that's part of our job. You have to call it the way we see it. That night, they were flat. Outside Bain. Pass to Brooks. Shoots over Levine. And again, Memphis no good. The Bulls on offense. They're on an 18-5 run. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And the three-point shot, so important, Richard. That's something you added after you came into the league. What was that process like? As the game tilted that direction, it, it was no secret. You have to put in that time. But what I try and tell people is that it took me three years before I was able to even become a consistent three-point shooter and another five before I became a good one. So as long as you're putting in the work, you're going to see the results. Those who evolve are those who stay around. Pass to Moran. Tries a 10-footer, and he drops that one in. 
Morant's got nine. With his ability to create or attack the rim, look, that jumper is always going to be available for Morant. And there's the lob. Boy, left it right in the sweet spot with the lob. Nicely done. Now that's a textbook alley-oop. I thought he'd go for the slam, but that worked. And the Grizzlies shooting only 36% during the second. Morant, pass to Batum. Now Jackson. Williams defending. Right wing. Shot clock at five. Here's Moran. Can't hit that one. And Chicago will go the other way with it. Coming off a win against the Hornets. And guys, those road games are never easy. But they had a solid strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Yeah, despite the challenges of being away from home, they were able to execute fully and look really fresh out there. Drummond's checked in for Williams. The Grizzlies also with a sub. Williams has checked in for Batum. Athletically gifted, a knockdown shooter, it feels like Levine is constantly underappreciated for all the things that he does. Williams passes to Moran. And then Moran with the dunk! Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Junior against Moran. And he's going for the oop here. And Vucevic slams it in. Woo! I just love that alley oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. Now a timeout called by Memphis. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. Yeah, we can see over here. The coach, he has some choice words for his team. Words we cannot repeat. Some changes for Chicago. Green's checked in for Vucevic. the first half of play. Bulls out in front, up by five. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. Grizzlies, 63. what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Chicago leading. Levine and DeRozan, the star-studded wings. Williams at power forward with Vucevic at center. And it's Junior in at the point. That's the group for Billy Donovan getting going here in the second half. Good on the bucket. They're in strong position coming down the stretch, and he is a big reason why. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. Oh, the energy and focus on display. Saw an opportunity to get inside, and they continue to build at this lead. The ball's knocked loose, and out of bounds will be Chicago ball. In 2013, Stephen Adams was selected 12th overall by OKC. The first first-rounder born in New Zealand. Yeah, B.A. I mean, Adams is blazing a new trail. An example for kids in his home island of New Zealand. You, too, can become an NBA player. Desmond Bain, he's checked in for Jones. Pass to Williams. Back to Junior. Just five on the clock. 18 feet out. The Grizzlies pull it in. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. Unable to get that one. Some solid defense from Williams. Levine with it. Guarded by Morant. Oh, and Jackson with the block. 
got to be careful when Jackson is lurking more than just capable of sending it back. Outside Morant to the middle. Count it and the foul. It's on Zach Levine. A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be a big And that one falls for Jackson. The son of an NBA player, Jaron Jackson Jr. I actually played a bit with his dad, Jaron Sr., in Orlando back in the early 2000s, Mario. which means I'm old. Number and he's made his mark on offense especially. they got to be thankful he's on their side. Memphis has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Outside Bain. Pass to Brooks. Jackson against Williams with the 10-footer. And it's Adams missing. And the Jacksons, just the latest father-son NBA duo. Lots of great ones there, Fred. So true, B.A. The Curry family might be the best ever. The Berries, including our own colleague, Brent. The Thompsons with Clay in the league currently. Just some incredible yeah. NBA families to the bottom. They have no answer defensively inside. Defensive foul. Shot. And that one falls for Vucevic. You love a big man like Vucevic. Puts in the effort to keep improving. For example, look at what he's done with this perimeter shooting. Brooks with it. Picked up by DeRozan. Moran, the pass to Bain. To the paint. Deflects the pass. Jackson banked it in off the glass. Jackson Jr. Jackson's got seven points. This is where you want Jackson Jr. going to town. He's got a nice soft touch around the rim. Here's Moran. Oh, there's Moran with the slam. Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. An important two points, not just on the scoreboard, but also for a little bit of momentum. Pass to Adams. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. Yeah, this is where Adams looks to score, especially when he has a matchup he likes. They get it again. And Vucevic slams it in. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. Offensive rebounding is about hustle and determination. Huge putback, making a statement there. Morant, the pass to Bain. And a great assist by Morant as that one goes. Morant's got three assists in the game. And it's so difficult to defend Morant in a pick and roll because not only can he get his own, but he can also create passing angles in very tight spaces. Now here is Junior. He's got 36 points. Oh, Adams with the block. Moran against Williams. Here's the teardrop. Got it again. That makes him 8 for 15 for the night. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Grizzlies. Here's Junior. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Moran against Williams. That puts him in the lead. Moran's got six here in the quarter. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Junior with it. Jackson in his pocket. Junior against Jackson. Williams on the wing. Here's Levine for three. The Bulls with another miss. The Grizzlies have gotten seven of their nine shots to fall. Quality shooting in the second half. To the inside. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the official signal a jump ball here. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. Levine against Adams. Shot clock at six. Here's Bain. Kicks it out to Jackson. He buries Jaren it from Jackson three. Jr. Jackson's got three. ten points. Showing he can make this shot. Give Jackson Jr. room to take the triple. Oh, and he will. Jr. against Moran. And the power finished by Vucevic. 
But a great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Outside Bain. Pass to Brooks. And here's Jackson. Back to Brooks. Over to Rosen. And it's Junior with the rebound. Junior's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting hard for every miss. Well, Grant, one thing Levine has done since entering the league, he's taken his strength training very seriously. No question. I mean, he can play a much more physical brand of ball now. We even see him post up with his back to the basket, converting through contact. It's just part of his overall evolution. Lonzo Ball's checked in for Chicago. The Grizzlies also with a sub. Batum's checked in for Bain. And the Grizzlies call time here. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. Here's Morant. He's got 22. Batum outside. Back to Morant. Up top, Brooks. Pass to Adams. Six on the shot clock. Back to Brooks. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. I mean, during his first playoffs, Dylan Brooks proved he was a big game player, pulling in 31 in his playoff debut and upset win over Utah. You know, talking about Dylan Brooks, also great in those first ever play-in games, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the Grizzlies making the playoffs, winning two games. Brooks was outstanding in a win at Golden State, locking down the Warriors on the perimeter. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Williams is checked in. Yeah, good whistle there. First personal foul. 13 foul. At the line for Chicago. Number 19. Two shots. First free throw is good. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Tillman comes in for Adams. And it's Jones in for Brooks. And it's tied up with that one. And here's Memphis. They're on a 16-7 run. Pass to Tillman. Jones with the ball. Hounded by Ball. Stolen by Ball. And a fast break now for the Bulls. Here's Levine. Up and in on the layup. Levine's got eight. Need to do more than that to keep me from getting the ball in the post. Agreed. He's just too dominant inside. So you're better off stopping him from getting the ball in the first place. Williams on the wing. He's covered by Levine. Outside for Moran. Knocks it down from distance. Morant's got nine points now in the quarter. He was solid in the first half from deep. He's a guy who can get hot. Let's see how he does here in the second. Junior against Moran. Junior with the bucket. Junior's got 40 points. These teams just keep trading the lead. Yeah, you wonder what it's going to take for someone to pull away. Jones finds Jackson. Jones with the ball. The three. And again, it's Memphis with a three. three this points. defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Throws it up high. Nice catch and finish on the lob. In terms of pure scores, Vucevic, one of the best in the game. Memphis has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Outside, Williams. Pass to Jones. That's tipped. Stolen by Ball. Down low. And Levine throws it down. What determination from Levine. Finding his finish despite the contact. Memphis trailing here. Outside Jones. Williams up top. Back to Jones. From deep, Moran. No good that time. 
Now Chicago takes it the other way. They've led by as many as 11. They host the Hawks after this one. That'll be the second and last game of a quick homestand. And stolen by Moran. And it's cleared by Vucevic. The Bulls shooting has been tremendous. 63% for the game and scoring with confidence. Moran against Junior. And he's going for the lob. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Here's Moran. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. From his first day in the league, opponents are going to make him earn it at the line. And look, Moran, he'll give him an easy look. The Bulls making a switch here. Drummond's checked in. Clark is checked in for Memphis. Bain comes in for Williams. To the middle. Here's Junior. And it's blocked by Clark. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Clark. From deep, Junior. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Bulls lead by two. This is the exact energy you like to see from Drummond. He can be a monster on the offensive glass. Pass to Bain. And he lobs it up to the rim. Oh, Clark with the slam. <laughs> Beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. Chicago has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Junior against Jones. Two minutes remaining in the third. Here's Junior. Two minutes. He's got 40 now. And Williams punches it home. Williams. Gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong finish to seal the deal. Morant, the pass to Bain. Back to Morant. Inside. Here's Jones. And too long on the shot. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. Levine finds Junior. And it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. From Levine's got five assists in the game. Memphis has gone three or four from outside in the second half. On the wing, Jones. Covered by Junior. Pass to Moran. A minute nine left in the third quarter. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Jaron Jackson, he's checked in for Tillman. Checking in for the Grizzlies. Jaron Chicago Jackson. leading. Wow, potent offense. It's been fun to watch. <laughs> Just aggressive and effective. Taking it right to the defense. Hey, great communication on the lob. Oh, incredible. Save that one. I want to watch it again. Awesome. Well, the Grizzlies shooting at about 51% for the game so far in this one. Moran, the pass to Clark. And here's Bain. He's covered by Levine. Pass to Jones. No good. Ooh, good D by Junior. Chicago with the ball. They're on a 12-4 run. Levine, good. Levine. And it's an eight-point Bulls lead. Credit to Levine. Not an easy hoop, but total focus on his shot. Helped out. Seven-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Outside Jones. Up top, Jackson. Clock at six. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. To the paint. Here's Junior. And he banks in the layup. Junior's got 44. And adding to this lead right now. Riding a wave of momentum. Yeah, they've locked in during this stretch. If they keep it up, their lead will only continue to second. Ooh, good defensive intensity. But you have to stay in control always. The line for the Grizzlies, Brandon Clark. At the line for three.
Substitution here for Chicago. Vucevic, he's checked in for Drummond. Williams comes in for White. Zach Levine, he's checked in for DeSumo. And Junior subbed in for Ball. The Grizzlies also with a sub. Adams is checked in. They're having a hard time with fouls. It's still early, but one more and they'll be over the limit. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Brooks is checked in. On the court for Memphis. Inside, it's the pair of Jackson Jr. and Adams. Bain and Brooks out on the wing. And it's Morant in at the one. From behind the arc. Nails it from beyond the arc. Morant's got 31. He's been a bright spot in their play today, but he could really use some help. Levine finds Jr. And he lays it up and in. Jr.'s got 46. Ooh, he's been the guy tonight. Really impressive performance. And we just had to take one more look at that great drive. Memphis has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. I got him, I got him. Morant, the pass to Adams. Bain with it. Pass to Morant. Over Junior. Morant, no good. The Bulls have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. Junior. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Junior's got 48. And talk about imposing your will. That's 10 straight points in the paint. Outside Bain. Now Morant. Brooks from outside. And it's Junior with the rebound. Junior's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. It's good. He hits another one. Oh my goodness. 50 for the game. Just putting on a show. Morant, the pass to Brooks. Back to Morant. Beyond the arc. Knocks down the long J. Morant's got 18 points now here in the second half. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up three. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Pass to Brooks. Back to Moran. Fires it. And that one hits the back iron. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Junior. Another one falls. Amazing. <laughs> That's 52 points for him. Making it all look too easy right now. Junior against Moran. Brooks outside. Pass to Jackson. Ooh, give him his fifth Jeremy make of the game in 10 attempts. A slow start for him, but making amends here in the second half. Junior against Moran. Here's Junior. Ooh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Ja Moran picks one up. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. At just about 85% from the line tonight, they've looked more and more comfortable as the game's gone on. They're doing great work at the free throw line this half. That bodes well for their chances to close out this game. Off the mark with a little step back, Jay. Chicago has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Junior against Moran. And he lobs it up top. Vucevic slams it in. They're making it look easy out there, just having fun. Man, their offense is clicking. Players, coaches, everybody, they are in sync. Brooks outside. Pass to Bain. Now Adams. Here's Jackson. Hits the jump hook. Jackson Jackson's gotten four this quarter. Whatever adjustments were made in half, boy, they are working. He's looking like a different player since the break. Mario. A nice shot by Junior. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Back to Moran. Shoots 
Shoots over Levine. And it's Memphis with another. Still a little bit of a streak shooter. Morant has been deadly accurate tonight. Man. And here's Junior. To the inside. A very pretty alley-oop. Keep the interior. Good things will happen. Memphis has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Outside Bain. Back to Morant. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. A unique talent. Ja Morant has taken the NBA by storm. Grant, does Ja remind you of anyone? Well, many people, including Paul George, have compared Ja to a young D. Rose. Yet yeah, each explosive athletes at the one position. Well, John Rose leading their teams at a young age as well. Every night, John Morant has a hard job to do. He draws the opponent's toughest defender in each game they play. That's how talented of a scorer he is. Morant against Junior. And there's the lob. Another possession, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Brooks outside. Back to Morant. Tipped. Here's DeRozan. The bank shot, no good. And the Grizzlies shooting about 48% from the floor. Pretty good. Well, you talk about the D Morant has to face. Yet he finds a way to get the best of most of those matchups, Richard. He's got a very advanced offensive skill set. He can score off the bounce. He can spot him. Depending on who's guarding him, Ja can adapt and find any weakness. Junior against Moran. Down low. And Vucevic slams it in. You just have to love how Vucevic has developed his offense. It's a blend of power and finesse. He's very versatile at that end of the floor. Pass to Bain. Jackson with it. Brooks right side. To the middle. Six to shoot. Fires top of the key. Bain no good. Chicago's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Make some noise, fans, for the one and only Chicago Lovable. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game. Think about this. He has owned this game from start to finish. Wow. So impressive. The defense literally looked helpless trying to stop him out there. He has been far and away the best player on the court, and it's not close. Well, they are playoff bound with him rounding into form and playing some of his best basketball. They just got to continue to play together, and we'll see if he's able to keep playing at this level. Junior against Moran. Junior right side. On the wing, Levine. The Bulls need to get off a shot. And it's Junior missing. Outstanding work to send him away. They sniffed that one out. Here's Brooks. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. One of the most dynamic passers to enter this league in a while. Moran, this man is in full control of the offense. Down low. Here's Williams. No good on the shot. Ooh, some solid defense from Adams. Brooks outside. Pass to Moran. Now here's Jackson. Three-pointer. Drops in the three. Moran's got 41. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. I think when you've got it going from three-point range, you've got to keep it going. It's a good way to kind of pile up the points quickly absolutely ruthless he's not about to start showing mercy now this is what you expect from him just coming alive and dominating in effortless fashion here in the fourth here's Bain oh the Grizzlies get it back another shot 
Jackson gets the bucket. This is how dangerous Jackson can be when he's committed to rebounding. On the wing, Junior, pounded by Moran. Junior against Moran. Junior right side. Takes the three. And he can't get that one. Now Memphis takes it the other way. 105 left to play in the fourth quarter. Well, with a comeback out of range, we can put a bow on this one. Good performance for the Bulls. You can score without sharing the ball, but it can be a whole lot easier when guys are assisting one another. <laughs> yeah, they were very patient. They were also unselfish, and ultimately, that's why they were so efficient. And it seems like these guys are never satisfied, always hungry for more. They push themselves to their 66th win for the year. And I'm sure they're happy to get even for what happened the last time these teams met. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A so no problem for Chicago as they get the win. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor. And they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. So long. Everybody, the next event. Jack and Shirley. Shirley. I, I, I.